my sense is that despite our differences, we all share the same dream of making this world a better place. Raise your hand if you think otherwise. Look around, exactly no one. Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon. My name is Aina and today I would love to share one way for all of you to join me and my biotech startup, Refitomat, to make this world a better place. Well, since I was a kid, I've always wanted to change the world. So last year, I had the opportunity to participate in G20 Global Business Challenge that aimed to solve the global problem of water scarcity. So I thought it was the right call of action for me to change the world with my idea. Ladies and gentlemen, did you know that there are huge numbers of sites worldwide polluted with heavy metals? So this is the global problem that I really want to solve. Last year, I contacted Queensland government to get mine wastewater from Mount Morgan Gold Copper Mining Site which left Australia with probably the most polluting mining legacy. As you can see from the screen, the contamination caused the neighboring Deva River to an unnatural shade of blue-green due to the heavy metal contaminants. And this problem not just occurs at Mount Morgan, it also happened at other 55,000 abandoned and active mining sites across Australia. And as you can see from the screen, this is a huge global problem. About half a million of abandoned mining sites were recorded in the United States alone. This is a picture of Rio Tinto, the oldest mines in the world. Over 5,000 years of mining pollution met this river, an extreme environment, and it's still polluted until now. And this is made in Malaysia, just weeks before the current haze first hit. It is well known that heavy metals are not only toxic and have carcinogenic effect, but also it tend to accumulate in living organisms through food chain. So it is very vital and important to remove heavy metal from these sites. Despite advances in mining technology, it cannot remove 100% of metal hosted in mineral, so some get wasted. The concept of using metal accumulating plants and microorganisms to safely remove heavy metal from these sites actually has been implemented for the past 300 years. It is due to a cascade of scientific discoveries coupled with interdisciplinary research that has culminated in a promising technology called agro-mining. In this green and sustainable technology, metal is accumulated by plant roots, translocation, translocated within the plants, which then can be harvested and extracted. More than 400 species of plants have been identified with a great ability to extract metal, with two-thirds of these can accumulate nickel. Just recently, work undertaken near Mount Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia, has led to the discovery of this native species, P. Balgoi, that can extract up to 60% nickel. Once harvested and dried, the biomass can be incinerated, and later treated to produce metals or high added value nickel salt that can be used for electrolytic plating, fabrication of batteries, or as a catalyst for many chemical reactions. At 2015, nickel price of 15 US dollar per kilogram with a potential yield of more than 100 kilogram of nickel per hectare, it could generate a revenue for 1,000 US dollar per hectare per year to metal farmers worth more than most food crops. In comparison, premium rice crop in fertile soil in Indonesia can generate around 850 US dollar per hectare per year. So my 
biotech startup aim to commercialize this technology on wastewater as metal in eco solutions are ready in a soluble form for plant uptake. So the basic idea is we just pump the wastewater into the hydroponic system which act as a water filter. Then if the water is not safe after the treatment, we just return the water to the wastewater collecting pool and then the cycle continues until it is safe to be used for other application. There are three major revenue models in this technology which include the sale of energy from plant incineration, the sale of metal from the bio ore and the removal of contaminants from the, from the system. The current water remediation technology are expensive, involves complex processes and could generate secondary pollution. At the moment, there are four startups that are working on agro mining, but they don't really act as a direct competitor to Refitomat as agro-mine and reading resources focus on nickel agro-mining, Crosses focus on gold, and it is only Refitomat and Phytocat that focus on the wastewater. So Phytocat focus on platinum group metal and is currently based in the UK. Refitomat is unique because we base in, the, in Malaysia and focus on the Asia-Pacific region, and our target, met, target metal varies according to the mining sites. So after, after several discussions with many people from the mining industry, I have to modify my business plan many times. So today, what I'm looking for is just 30,000 US dollar cash investment in the form of sponsorship for my CSR solution to solve the environmental problems that has been left abandoned by the profit owners. So it involves three years of cost structure with uh, expected revenue streams on the screen. So the sponsors will get their brand for supporting, protecting the environment. NGO will get their support, more support for protecting the environment. And my role as a project manager will manage the implementation of the project. So this is still a young company. Refitomat has represented Australia and become top six world finalists for G20 Global Business Challenge 2014. Our previous sponsors helped us to compete in the final do site visit, collect wastewater, plant species, and now we're seeking more funding to complete our prototype. So we are blessed to have a very good team from strong technical and business background. And today, I would love to invite all of you to join me and my project towards revolution in the sustainable mining. Thank you. Thank you very much. Aina, for that presentation. Do we have any questions for Aina? Yes, sir. We're getting a microphone to you. Hang on. Out back. Uh, okay. Uh, um, sustainable mining. Uh, okay, uh, you, you sort of like that that pic uh, sorry that uh, the the Venn diagrams with you and your other uh, competitors right? so, uh, I, I can see how, where agro mining can be useful uh, for uh, mining these metals right but uh, is there any uh, because you're you're more focused on the the wastewater aspect right so uh, is like do you have good proof that it's effective in clearing the water um thank you for that question um, that's why it's very important to get customer feedback. So I, I met many people from the mining industry and they're all laughing at me. So actually, we are not really directly competing with the mining industry because we are targeting at the low O grade O that, that um, accumulate in the wastewater. And then the thing is, um, the current, the extraction process uh, is lower than the current mining methods. But this is targeting the chemical companies, not really metal companies. For example, um, for the nickel catalyst, we're not really competing with the mining um, who involve in the conventional mining methods. And then our technology is actually focused on the mining that has been left abandoned by the profit owners. So because they've been extracting these mining, the technology can remove 100%. There are 
two, sometimes five to ten percent metals left, and nobody cares about this, and it's polluted. So agro mining is very specific in targeting this abundance market, which are abundance mining, which are very huge around the world. So if you just focus in Southeast Asia, I mean there are so many minings in Malaysia. There are so many. In the, even in Thailand and in Australia, there are huge of market. So I think we're not really competing with the mining. And then in terms of effectiveness, if you put um, Indian mustard, with the local called Sawi, within 42 hours, it can extract 14% of nickel or even, even gold a little bit less. But it depends on the plant species and the geography location as well. Sorry, 40, 14, 40 percent? Um, 14. Uh, out of the entire uh, dry plant um, weight, dry dry plant mass, okay. dry weight of the plant. Okay. When we burn them, like for for example, uh, uh, for one kilogram of plant, uh, according yeah, yeah. Uh, no doubt that it, it's probably a good uh, metal extracting method. I, yeah. I, I'm I'm just uh, asking about the whether it can clear the water really well. I mean, like. Is, is that being tested as well? Um, it's actually, it depends on the quality of the water itself. Okay. On the complexity of the pollution. For the simple um, polluted, just like low concentration of metal, it can be um, remediated within a few years. But due to genetic engineering, we can actually speed up this process through genetically modified plants. But that will be the last solution though, we focus on the natural uh, engineering first.